There is a place so fascinating, yet so underrated by many. The home of ancient kingdoms whose marks still stand to this day and they are waiting just for us to unveil their secrets. Hey, I'm Adam. And I'm a traveler. Let me take you on yet another adventure. Join me to explore an extraordinary region. The Balkans. Hello from Belgrade, the capital of Serbia. This is the starting point of my first solo trip in 2024. Very soon I need to head back to the airport because I'm flying to my first main destination. Yeah, I've been sick the whole week, so I'm sorry about my voice. It's getting better and I'm feeling better, so I'm ready for this highly anticipated adventure. Are you ready too? Then let's go! So this tale began as my first destination, Bosnia, was already calling. And I was so ready to fulfill a long-awaited dream in the upcoming nine days. There I was, rising above the Balkan lands, full of excitement. For the first time, I was so calm before traveling alone. It's become a superpower of mine. I can't describe how thankful I was feeling while we were descending into the clouds. And soon, I found myself where this long and promising ride was about to begin. Welcome to Bosnia! <sighs> Damn, it was raining so much that the buses stopped operating, so I had to call a cab, which was interesting but uh, i made it here so that's what matters it's not getting any better but i have to go out there is no way to miss sarajevo so my plan is to put on my hoodie and hope for the best well a thunderstorm was not in my plans but can some rain stop me no i don't think so Thus, I entered Bosnia and Herzegovina's capital and the beautiful old town immediately captivated me with its charm. Thank you. 
So it's time to answer why did I come here in the first place? Well, last year when I visited Kosovo, I realized that I live on an amazing peninsula, the Balkan Peninsula. And uh, I realized that I haven't explored everything here. And instead of traveling for like to Africa or to the North Pole, I decided to finally do this and come here to the western part of the Balkans. Of course, every country here is different, but we also have our common stuff. We share so much, for example, some cultural stuff, our foods, even our languages. Like today when I ordered a cab, I was talking in Bulgarian to the driver and he was answering in Bosnian and we could understand each other without any problems. It's such an interesting feeling because I'm not at home, but I feel at home because it's just so similar. I guess it's a home far away from home. It was time to find some quiet spot and the Alifakovac cemetery appeared to be the calmest area above the town. so fucking happy that I'm traveling alone again. When I travel alone, I feel like I can do anything, not just during the trip, but in life in general. Oh gosh, I think my voice needs some rest too, so <laughs> I guess see you tomorrow. The story continued on a rainy morning, but I was prepared for anything. Okay guys, let's go, let's catch the train. I decided to only use public transport on my journey. So I hopped on the train which would carry me to the unknown. Through the Bosnian rainforests, I was speeding alongside gorgeous sceneries and mysterious clouds. And something was telling me that my next stop would greet me with a warm welcome. I almost forgot how thrilling it is to travel with no plans. And very soon I was approaching Mostar a true dream destination. So, I decided to keep track of how far I travel day by day and today's distance was 129 kilometers. I'm intrigued to see what the final number will look like. But for now, let's dive into today's stop. Mostar, the historic capital of Bosnia and Herzegovina, is situated on the mighty Neretvo River. I'm not sure why I was so eager to come, but when I arrived, I knew that my instincts were right. And suddenly, everything stopped existing. It was just me and the town.
This is a bit intense with my claustrophobia, <laughs> but it's okay. I made it. Wow, my host left me a cake in the fridge. How nice of him. Hmm. Mm. I swear, sometimes this kind of act of kindness can make someone's day even better and you don't even know, so be kind to others. To be honest, I didn't expect it to rain so much. But since nothing could be done against the weather, some cozy indoor vibes are always a nice idea. Look, I found something to check while it's raining. These are some super old photographs from Mostar. Things beyond our control are difficult to accept. But I just let go and went with it. Here we have some local uh, chewapchichi with bread, onion and aivar, which is a cream from bell peppers. Mm. So good. <sighs> Happiness. The darkness was falling and step by step the town was becoming so magical and the evening lights were singing a beautiful lullaby. You know me as a person who has been dealing with anxiety for a long time. I was thinking about something in the bad weather today my anxiety gets provoked often when I don't have control over something and the weather is a very good example because I can't control it. And today as I was thinking I realized that maybe first we have to accept things how they are and then we are ready for change. And when we are ready, in my opinion, that's when the sun will appear again. Oh, tomorrow I might be traveling to a different country, so that's super exciting. But before that, I really need to get some good sleep. So let's call it a day and see you tomorrow. The sun is shining. <laughs> Our minds have such a great power. We just need to believe in it.
you know, this just feels so special after the things I talked about yesterday. Wow. I was sad to leave, but each new day brings a new adventure. Okay guys, let's go. And in two blinks, I was already on my way. I bid goodbye and a new place was inviting me with a loud call. Through the stunning nature, it was like I was flying. And the sea appeared behind the hills, revealing the marvelous lands of Croatia. Welcome to Croatia! <laughs> Six passport checks later, I'm finally here in Dubrovnik. I was kind of questioned twice at the borders, which was fine, but guys, do I look like someone who has like two kilograms of tobacco to declare or who carries illegal drugs with him? Because <laughs> those were the questions they were asking me. But anyways, let's just forget all about that and let's enjoy Dubrovnik. There I was, wandering around, in this place which seemed to be so far away the same morning. And it took me about one minute to absolutely fall in love. So, the town's history dates back to probably the 7th century when it was known as Ragusa and it was founded by Greek colonists. Of course, the old town of Dubrovnik is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. I don't think I have to explain why. Its medieval architecture is outstanding, really. You know the feeling when you try to take a picture but it doesn't give the same view back? Well, Dubrovnik is one of those places because I took so many pictures and videos, but it's not the same as in real life. It's very impressive. I didn't think I would like it so much here. Yet here we are. <laughs> yeah, so don't ever judge a place before going. I'd been dreaming of some beach time ever since I left Serbia and it was the perfect time to make it a reality.
I'm not sure what to talk about after everything that happened today, except that I'm thankful. There are five more days left of this journey, five more days during which I will be exploring the Balkans alone. Oh, sometimes it's still unbelievable that I'm doing things like this alone, but who else is going to do it if not me? My mind is at peace. I think it's the perfect time to fall asleep, so... Good night. And so, this chapter comes to an end. But this incredible trip continues in the next film, very, very soon. These past days have given me so much power. As always, I learned a lot from every wonderful place I paid a visit to. And the best thing was that this was only the beginning. Because Montenegro and Albania were still to be discovered. See you soon my friends.